If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We know that the original volume of the wire would equal its length multiplied by its cross-sectional area. And the final volume of the wire would be the final length multiplied by the final cross-sectional area. As the wire is drawn from its original shape to its final shape, the volumes would remain constant. And so we can take the expression for the initial volume and set it equal to the final volume. We can solve this equation for the final area by dividing both sides of the equation by the final length, L. The question notes that the new length of the wire is equal to 3 times the original length. So we know that L is equal to 3 multiplied by L0. So we can replace L in the equation with that expression. We could then see that a factor of L0 cancels. So the final area is equal to one third of the original area. We next turn to the equation for resistance. More specifically, we're looking at the final resistance of the new wire. We know that resistance is proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the area. We have an expression for the final area that we could substitute into the resistance equation. We also once again recall that the final length was equal to three times the original length, so we will make another substitution. Algebraically, we can move the three here to the numerator and multiply it by that three to make nine. We'll notice then that we have rho multiplied by L naught divided by A naught. Might be a little tricky to see that. But we know that that term is equal to the original resistance of the wire. So we can replace all of the variables circled with the single variable R0. And so in essence we can see that the final resistance of the wire is equal to 9 times its original value. The question of course notes that the original resistance was 6 ohms. So now we can simply plug into this equation to find the final resistance of the new wire. And when we perform that calculation we can see that it's equal to 54 ohms. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post a solution on YouTube.